Hey, I'm Mastin Kip, author of the book Daily Love Growing Into Grace, and welcome to this week's episode of Daily Love TV. This week, I'm coming to you from Bali, one of my favorite places in the entire world. It's a beautiful, powerful, incredibly spiritual island, and we've been leading some retreats here. We lead a couple of retreats here every year. And one of the things that's really interesting is that when I'm able to travel, you know, not that long ago, I wasn't able to travel to places like Bali or Maui or Santorini or any of the places I've been able to be blessed to travel. And one of the reasons why is that I did not have an empowered or healthy relationship with money. I did not have an empowered or healthy relationship with money. And money is a topic that can trigger you. It's a topic that can really set people off. So during this conversation, if you find yourself getting triggered, if you find yourself getting upset, just pause for a moment and see if you can get curious instead of triggered. And if you are getting triggered, start to notice, gosh, why am I getting triggered? Because money is a very powerful topic. And when you get your alignment and relationship with money right, massive opportunities open up in your life. And this is not about being a millionaire or billionaire. This is about you having a positive and empowered relationship with money. In order for us to do this, the first thing we have to really question is, well, what is money? What is money? Well, money specifically is all it is, is energy. Money represents energy and exchange of value. And in, in life, there are transactions. We transact money and we exchange money for some type of value. That value might be coming on a retreat. That value might be purchasing clothing. That value might be purchasing food or an airplane ticket. It might be giving a gift to somebody else. But there's a mutual exchange of value and of energy in every transaction. And so if we have built up money stories or money paradigms. We were told by someone growing up, maybe money doesn't grow on trees, we live in a scarce universe, you gotta work really hard and you know to barely earn a living or whatever it might be. You really gotta ask yourself, what's my money story? So when you think about money or maybe not having enough money, what are the stories that you tell yourself about why you don't have it? Maybe teachers aren't supposed to make money or maybe people like me aren't supposed to make money or maybe rich people are mean or whatever it might be. Really think about what your money story is and then try to tap into the underlying emotion below that story. Usually it's a feeling of sad, powerlessness, anger, something like that. Here's the spiritual truth. We live in an abundant universe. We live in a, a universe where there is more than enough. We have not run out of air. Try to go to the beach and count how many pebbles uh, are on, in the sand. We live in a truly abundant universe where energy ebbs and flows. And we have to be able to open ourselves up to receive money if we want to be able to get paid well for our services. The other thing is, is that we want to be able to be in a structure and a system and a dynamic that allows us to be abundantly compensated for the value that we're bringing to the world. Now your definition of abundance and someone else watching this video may have a different definition. As long as you have more than enough to go around, that's what abundance is, where you have enough you know, money at the end of the month instead of month at the end of the money. So it really gets down to, what story, limiting belief and limiting story, am I telling myself about why I can't have what I want? What's the underlying negative emotion and how is that fueling my inability to receive? I can't receive it, I'm not worth it, I'm not valuable enough. And then on top of that, how can I add proper value to the world? Because profit and money and exchange, really profit is a byproduct from adding value to the world. So if we can get really clear on how do I want to add value to the world, maybe in the form of coaching or maybe in the form of you know, teaching or maybe in the form of providing a service to somebody else? How can I then take that value that I want to add to the world and put myself inside a structure that allows me to be properly compensated for the value that I'm bringing to the world? And then how can I take a look at my money stories and limiting emotions to keep money out? Because we have so many people, entrepreneurs or business owners, that provide massive value to the world, but their own money paradigms, their own money stories, really allow them to not receive the true abundance that's coming to them. And on top of that, I would suggest it's important to save and it's certainly important to invest. But the hoarding mentality where you're living for the future is also a way where lack really perpetrates because money and abundance flows. It, it gives and receives, it ebbs and flows. So when you allow yourself to invest in yourself, when you allow yourself to be a, a conduit for that flow of giving and receiving, all of a sudden you'll find more energy and more money coming into your life as well. So the questions for you are this, how could you add more value to the world? How could you set yourself up in a system that allows you to receive the proper abundance for that value? What are your limiting money stories and beliefs? And how can we start to transform those into empowered beliefs and empowered stories? 
You might be watching this video over on YouTube or over on Facebook. I invite you to come on over to thedailylove.com and below this video in the comments, let me know what's your new money story going to be. What are your new empowering beliefs around money going to be? How are you going to add value to the world and what system are you going to choose so that you can properly be compensated for the value that you're going to add? These are powerful questions that can massively shift your relationship with money. And remember, money is energy. You deserve to receive that energy. You deserve to invest and give that energy as well. That is an energy that is a cycle. And when we cut off the receiving or we cut off the giving, the energy blocks. So really make it your intention to open up and allow yourself to be within the ebb and flow of the energetic financial exchange in your life. My deepest wish, as always here at Daily Love TV, is for you to get out there, take action, and make it real. We'll see you next week.